Hey you guys, I've got a rarity for you today. It's the Yamaha GW50. Welcome back to Gear Facts. This is a multi-effects pedal, probably from the late 90s, judging by its appearance and the relative simplicity of the effects section. Nothing outrageous here, just a compression at the beginning, five kinds of distortion, three equalization effects, and that includes your wah effect, as well as an amp simulator. Chorus effect, in fact that's general modulation in this section here, and reverb and delay. When I first listened to the preset effects on this, I thought, well, there's no wonder this thing is rare. It's because it sounds absolutely terrible. But it's a classic example of something that just needs a little bit of perseverance, and I mean a really little bit, to start putting together some patches and sounds that are really quite good. However, as I went through and made some more of these patches, I started to realize that this thing is really complicated to use. Luckily, I've got the manual. Unluckily, I'm too lazy to read it for the purpose of this review. But I'll tell you now, what makes this pedal really interesting and a little bit unique is the rhythm and backing system that occupies pretty much the whole top half of the pedal. I'm not just talking about a few drum rhythms just to jam along to. I'm talking about real backing arrangements. You can program a whole song into this based on any of the 60 or so rhythm styles that are in there. Each rhythm style has a bass line and a general accompaniment and literally 25 chord styles. I'm talking about major, minor, add nine, suspended fourth, and so forth. 25 types of chord for each note. Now, as you'll hear in the DAW recorded segment of this demo, these styles aren't designed to be actual backing tracks for your final finished product. This is a machine that can really help you arrange your song, but probably more usefully for the home user, it can really help you to learn gales and soloing technique and experiment with some good rhythm forms that match your playing. It's a real education. Now I like to mess around at home with my guitar, but I don't usually play in any kind of arrangements with other musicians, so I'm not very experienced in that respect. But as I was playing along with the bass lines, setting up chord progressions and things like that, I was finding that my technique was actually starting to sound better as I went along, and my skills were improving surprisingly quickly, so this is actually a really useful feature of the GW50. Similar in vain to the Boss JS line of rhythm trainers, and I'll be hoping to show you some reviews of those in the future. A quick look at the display reveals our general chain of effects. The chord that we're in happens to be C minor at the moment. Tempo, song, you can store multiple songs if you're creating a whole set. I guess in theory if you were a one-man show this would be fine for working live on stage as long as you had the skills and the stage presence to overcome the kind of digital vibe that the drum and bass sounds are giving out. Our pattern number, our time signature and exactly where we are in our measure. So if I press start over here You'll see the cursor actually runs along there to the beat of the music. The back of the pedal is a pretty familiar layout, although I do like the way that they've printed the names of each of the individual sockets on the front panel rather than over on the back. Makes it easy to know where you want to plug in. It's also got MIDI control as well, right down the end here. So that's my overview of the features of the Yamaha GW50. Now let's hear the sounds in all their DAW recorded glory and you be